Weiner gets a green anklet on. He's in that black singlet for West Liberty with WL text across the front. Meanwhile, St. Cloud State sporting their usual black with a white band around the chest. And we're underway at 133. On we've got Tyler Warner from West, Liberty University, a senior from Denison, Ohio. He's 10 and 0 on the year. He's a four-time All-American, a two-time region champ, and a 2019 national champion. See their quick work in the head, trying to get him out of position, reset here in the center of the mat. West, Liberty University. Looks like Voss, trying to work from space there. His opponent is it's aggressive, Gary like Ross. you say, as Warner is with that hand fighting. Are we talking about the, the team race, Todd? How about the job Steve Costanzo's done in his 15 years at St. Cloud? The school had never tasted a national title. If Voss or any of the three finals gets a win here tonight, that's five in 15 years, five of six, actually. Mm -hmm. Averaging one every couple of years in his tenure. Unbelievable. He's turned this program just into a, a Division II powerhouse a little over a decade. And last year occurred, which they did qualify nine of 10 weight classes up in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That front headlock position there by Warner, kind of that cow catcher over under position. Get a stalemate. Angel Rivera, our head official. So let's reset it, gentlemen, uh, halfway through the first. That's halfway. Warner right back to that tie. Good, good. And Joe, we see it, it is takes a lot of energy when you have two guys that are hand fighting, or if it's one guy, it can take a lot of starch out of somebody in that neutral position. You don't realize if, if you're kind of a casual fan, but you know, for those that have wrestled, that that is one of those endurance things right out of the gate that Tyler Warner is pushing on Voss. Yeah, and for you youngsters at home, you, you don't always have to score. We always focus on the points and the YouTube highlight videos, what, what these guys are doing, what he's doing is smart, right? Banging on the head, trying to get him out of position. It takes a lot of energy just to stay in position, let alone fighting off a shot or setting up your offense. So the little things that make a big difference. Pulling tough on the back of the leg. Down blocks on that shot by Voss. Trying to clear that elbow. Talk about momentum for St. Cloud, Todd. You got to go think it goes the other way, too, as Warner just watched his, his teammate and no doubt training partner, Leo, win a national title. So talk about momentum. Sure, he feeding off the success of his opponent just moments ago. And a stalling warning is called on Warner. He's been working from that tie. And Rivera looking for more action there. End of the first. Go to the toss. The choice will go to Voss. Warner last year went nine and two. He was up at Pitt Johnstown. He transferred there along with Connor Craig. We'll see later here for West Liberty on the Braves mat. And then him and Connor Craig transferred to West Liberty. Quick switch position. Voss tries to cover. Now it's going to be one. And the escape, and on the board, Warner draws first blood. We're talking about St. Cloud's national dominance. Bring it closer to home in their conference. How about this stat? Coach Costanza hasn't lost a conference dual meet since 2010. 11 years of unbeaten in the conference. Think they got a stranglehold on that division? Man. Great shot in by Warner, but now Voss trying to turn the tables and secures. Well done. That's, you know, the, the, the scramble. It's kind of what the, where the sports evolved to and did it beautifully, did Garrett Voss. Now Warner trying to cut the corner, raising that leg is Voss trying to keep him at bay. And you see and Voss the has, and there is the reversal. Yep. If he can get that leg in, that's going to be two, and he did just that. One of the guys we see at Division I level that cuts the corner all the time is Jaden Ironman in Iowa. He welcomes you to shoot in on his leg. Good control by Warner. Get the sense the pace is picking up a bit here in the second period. Kind of 
little feeling out defensive battle in the first period. These guys are now saying, okay, let's let it fly. Corner. Keeping Voss heavy on his hands here. That's the thing where those hands are heavy, out of bounds and a reset. As you saw Voss try to go to that roll, sometimes that's all you can do because you, you can't build your base. Go to that shoulder roll. Uh, here's another wrestling one-on-one -on -one for the youngsters at home. 27 seconds left in a period in a two-one, two-point or a one-point match. It's almost a two-for-one. You ride them out, you get the escape. It's a brand new match. These are critical seconds for both wrestlers. Finishing periods. Look at that front pressure. Look at that back pressure from Warner. Comfortable on that crab ride as Voss again just trying to roll out because he can't get his hands up. That was Seven well done by Warner, yeah. Big seven seconds if Warner can hang on here. A lot of momentum going to third period. If you're going to negate that, it would be escape late in the period. Foss will have choice. Foss will hold on and stay on top in the second. Yeah, that's big, man. Circle that. We come back to the final 20 seconds of this match. It's a one-point match. That makes a huge difference right there, riding out your opponent for the final 20 seconds of the second period. Horner, a senior out of Claymont High School in Denison, Ohio. Four-time Ohio State tournament placer and a three-time state champion. Caution on Warner. Talk about the match within a match. Here's another example, Ted. 39 seconds of riding time for Warner. Does he push the pedal, get that minute, and maybe pull off? Does have the stalling call against him. So you don't want to be just hanging on too much, but mm -hmm. you get that one minute of riding time, gives you some flexibility. Still using that half as they go to the crap Ooh. position. Got to be careful there of a defensive fall. Oh, what a counter, and the bridge through. And Warner. Got him in a tough situation, looking for the fall here. Well, I was worried that Warner was going to pin himself, and he bridged through, and he's going to get a big-time result out of this with near fall. He just seemed really calm in that situation, Joe. I wasn't even wrestling, and I was nervous <laughs> watching it. I don't know how you stay that calm in the national finals. Well done. Keeping the heat on. Puts oh, Voss back in criteria. Now he's got the body scissors. Well, that's close right there. A lot of time left on the clock with a minute. Voss able to get his way out. The four near fall and then still in control is Warner with that right leg of Voss. They'll be watching to make sure it's not potentially dangerous, but Voss saying, I need to get some points back here. And the reversal by Voss. So he's down by three. Looked like he was going to cut Warner as we near 30 seconds. Yeah, I don't like either one of Voss's options here. I think he's trying to get the, the the stall first, cut it to two, and then maybe cut him. The problem is you still have the riding point locked up. So I think if you're Voss, you got to go to your feet and try and get a throw. It's your, your best bet bet here. Well, he's going to try and go come kind of bundle maybe on the front headlock. Keep working. Keep working. Warner elevates the leg. Short time here as he's trying to put the finishing touches on a national title, and he does. With a minute of riding time, the final score is eight to four. Your national champion from West Liberty, they make it two for two to start off the finals, Tyler Warner. And you know who's most excited about that win besides Warner and the West Liberty folks? How about the Kearney fans? They're saying, boy, if we can hang on for two more of those, they still keep their team score two and a half point lead over St. Cloud at the moment. As we take a look at the match again. It's a great scramble to start. Looked early on like Voss had the control, got that beautiful scramble, but and the guts that Warner had on that crab ride, Todd, is uh, that, that might be the stuff of a legend. I'll be, I'll be telling my grandkids about that one. Cool under fire, and that's the thing. 
the, the guys that get it done, they don't panic, and that's exactly what Warner Look did how there. Look close that is to a defensive pin, but he arches through and gets the near fall that ultimately salts away the match. Nails, nails stuff there. Now we're joined by Tyler Warner. Wes Liberty, our national champion at 133 pounds. Well, Tyler, you had the blood pressure up, I think, for everybody watching. And was your blood pressure up in that scramble where you had to arch out, still get the near fall? What was going through your head at that Ooh. point? Thought I was in trouble. But hey, we ended up on top. So when I put him to his back, I was like, holy shit. I just did this. <laughs> hey. Two-timer, man. This feels good. I'm well, back with my team. And they talk know. about that. Talk about that, Tyler. Two years ago, you win at 133 pounds for Wheeling Jesuit. You make it two in a row for West Liberty, and, and you were along with two of your teammates. We'll see Connor Craig later. How good does it feel to have your teammates there with you here tonight? It's kind of that, that uh, team mentality right there. Feels great. Um, I know when we're all together, what we can do. And... Um, you know, not just those those two. Um, the whole team at West Liberty. Um, we all bought into Coach Irwin's. Um, you know what he wants from us. Trust the process. You know what? It took me a long time to trust the process, but you know, I I bought in and look where I'm at. Well, congratulations, Tyler Warner. Another West Liberty Hilltopper at the top. He finishes 11 and 0. Your national champion at 133.